Hello everyone, my name is Jackie. In this video, I'm showing you guys how to debloat any NVIDIA drivers. This is not necessarily will give you better performance in games, but if you are like me who likes to optimize stuff, this is how you can do it. So let's get started. First you want to download these two files, and that's NV clean install, and then the latest NVIDIA driver that you want to debloat. I will leave the link in the description. After that, you open the NV clean install. And then select the third option here to select your downloaded driver manually. Click on Browse. Select the driver that you want to debloat, and then press Open. Just hit Next to start the process. Now this is the crucial part. For most users, I suggest you to select the recommended option down there. If you are a laptop user, it will automatically select Optimus for you which is really important. And then for the rest, if you use Nvidia Shadow Play like me, you can enable all the required components here to ensure that it will work properly. After you have selected all of these, you need to make sure that NV Platform Controllers is selected, otherwise you will have some issue with GPU power utilization in games. When you are ready, press Next. Just wait until the process is done. After the process is done, you can start by disabling Installer Telemetry and Advertising. And then keep the Disable Multiplane Overlay selected, usually selected by default. Make sure you enable Show Expert Tweaks for more options. Now you can disable the Driver Telemetry. You can also disable the NVIDIA HD Audio Device Sleep Timer. And then disable the HDCP. For the rest, you can leave a tick on use method compatible with Easy Anti-Cheat, and also automatically accept the driver unsigned warning, so that you don't get any interruption during installation. Press next and wait until your driver get debloated. After it has done, you can select to show it in folder. Select all of these files, and then select cut. After that, create a new folder. Give a name for your new debloated driver there. And then paste all the debloated driver files there. You are done. You can close all the windows now. To install it, you can start off by perform a DDU to clean the current driver. And then just run this setup.exe file in the safe mode. Just install like usual. Remember, you need to do this every time there are driver updates. That's it. I hope this video was helpful, and if it does, feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.